Welcome to 3.6 Math Moment. Today, students learn how to multiply mixed number fractions. The very first thing we talk to students about is changing this mixed number into an improper fraction. There's lots of different terms that teachers use. There's the C method, around the world, loop-de-loop, -loop, backflip, all sorts of things. But what you basically need to know is you need to multiply, then add. So I need to take 2 times 1, which is 2, plus 1 more is 3. And I put that over the denominator, which stays the same, which is 2. Now I'm going to multiply that by my 3 fifths. I know 3 times 3, I'm going to scoot this down a little bit, is 9. And 2 times 5 is 10. So my answer is 9 tenths. For example 2, I'm going to do the C method, around the world, loop-de-loop, -loop, whatever your teacher calls it. What basically you need to know is you need to multiply and then add. So 2 times 3 is 6, plus 2 more is 8. So I've got 8 thirds, remember my denominator comes from the problem, times, now I've got another mixed number, so I seem to do it another time. I'm going to multiply and add again. 4 times 4 is 16, plus 1 is 17. So I've got 17 fourths. Now I need to go ahead and multiply. Now, a few fifth graders might see that we could cross simplify here. If they wanted to, that's great. 8 and 4 both show, share 4, so I could do 4 divided by 4 is 1. 8 divided by 4 is 2. I still need to use these numbers to multiply. So I have to take 17 times 2. 7 times 2 is 14. Carry my 1. 1 times 2 is 2, plus 1 more is 3. And then I've got 3 times 1, which is 3. So I've got 30, 4 over 3. Again, this is an improper fraction, which students know they need to go ahead and reduce now or simplify by dividing. This fraction bar just tells us to divide. When I take 34 divided by 3, I know 3 can go into 3 one time. Bring down my 4. Can 3 go into 4? Yes, 1 time. 1 times 3 is 3 with 1 left over. Notice there's nothing left to come down, so this is going to become my numerator, the 1 from here becomes my numerator. Then I use my divisor as my denominator. So my answer is 11 and 1 third. If you have any questions about today's lesson, see your math teacher. 